So in this video, we're going to be talking about drainage and geothermal heat or ground heating. But uh, let's just jump right in and talk about it. Okay, so uh, tomorrow, I don't know what day it is. I don't know what date it is. We're on step number 27 or something along those lines. Um, we're going to be marking out and digging. I actually have an excavator coming, a mini excavator. Uh, and you can see this line that I spray painted from here that goes up to the well, um, as well as my house. The excavator is going to dig a six foot trench from all the way over there to here, which is the corner of the uh, of the screen of the greenhouse, and that's where my uh, my water hydrant's going to go as well as my electrical. So the water's got to be buried six feet, uh, the electrical will be buried two feet, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about drainage, if you remember, and heat. If you remember in the other video. Uh, we talked about these drainage pipes here that are perforated. Um, so these are going to get put into the pumpkin patch before I add anything else. <coughs> Excuse me, coronavirus. Uh, not really, you shouldn't joke about that. Sorry. Um, so this is the center line down here. I've spray painted it. The backhoe is also going to take out the tree. Fine. Sorry, got a phone call there. All right, so the backhoe is going to take out the tree, but what I need to do in preparation for him coming tomorrow is mark out the lines. So I haven't really showed you on paper what this is. Uh, maybe I did in a previous video that I haven't filmed yet that I'll film, that I'll edit, that I'll put out before this one comes out. Uh, is just the pattern that this is gonna be laid out. So Emily is coming out now, so we're gonna do that and I'll show you what it looks like after. So fast forward to the next day and Emily and I did uh, come out here last night and we did the pattern so you can see that we have all the lines spray painted out. The excavator is actually here so just going over double checking everything we did last night. Make sure that it looks pretty good and it does and that is that. So uh, our operator today, his name is Jeff, he's going to do a great job. Uh, if you're in the Denver area and you need some mini excavator work done, send me a message and I'll give you Jeff's number. Um, <coughs> not the virus, still the cold. Um, and that is, that is it. Let's uh, pan to some, maybe some time lapses. Maybe I'll throw up the drone or something fun and uh, we'll, uh, we'll dig some holes. And when I say we, I mean, I mean Jeff. So Jeff has dug the holes, or my, uh, my uh, what are we calling these, our soil warming holes, and it was supposed to go down about 18 inches, uh, 20 inches, but I think it's a little skewed because he had to mound up the dirt um, along the sides, but uh, here we go, I got what I asked for, and it's pretty interesting. Here's a good spot where we can see, you can see, you know, where I'm at. I should get a tape measure. Uh, but here's where, you know, like I tilled up, and this is nice, and this layer with the alfalfa pellets, and you can see some of the uh, the peat moss and whatnot. And then on top of that, he stacked, you know, this, the dirt from down in the trenches. 
but I'm not going to wait around. I've got work to do. Now I'm going to put in the, uh, the drainage pipe so we can just get that done. So stick around. Whew. And that is that. So I didn't, they didn't, they don't make a T for these drainage pipes or well, maybe they do, but I couldn't find them. So we'll start at the beginning. You can see my 90 that's feeding the system. And then I left a big tail for that. <clears throat> that will come up and, uh, Hmm, maybe I'll lay that down actually and have it come up the side like I did in my drawing. I might do that. Uh, but so you can see the improvised T's and then every every junction it uh, it goes out. So we have seven of these feeder lines going out. So the distance between you know one pipe to the next is going to be you know less than less than six feet. So. Hopefully, you know, this will radiate heat about, uh, you know, three and a half feet around it. So that'll kind of keep the soil nice and moist. And here's the end. We'll go check out the big trench. So this big trench over here that Jeff's digging is for, supposed to be six feet deep, but I'm guessing that looks like eight or ten. Holy macaroni. Um... Yeah, that's definitely more than six feet deep. Jeez, Jeff. Um, so that's going to be for the hydrant. And then the electrical will go in this after I fill that up to a depth of two feet. But uh, if you come over to my house in the next week, don't fall in the trench. Damn. Yeah, that's like 10, 10 12 foot deep. <laughs> All right. So uh, now, unfortunately, it's up to me and this here shovel to fill this all in wish me luck and as i show you some flyover of the 15 yards of compost getting delivered i will mention and admit that after filling in one quarter of one of the side trenches i decided that i'm just going to go ahead and have the uh, front end loader fill that in as well when we finish filling in the other trenches because my back is not that strong and I'm old and chubby and all that good stuff. So that is it for this video. Uh, we're making lots of progress. As always, like the video. Please subscribe to the channel so we can get to 1,000 subscribers. Uh, share it, like it, make a comment below if you have any questions. And other than that, we will see you next time. Make sure you get out there and you grow yourself a giant pumpkin gourd or anything else that I can think of while I try and take up another few seconds so you can see the sweet shot of the compost being delivered. We'll catch you next time.